Today I'm going to give you some tips and things about the spy because I've played the spy like a hundred hours. So I have a bit of experience with the spy, I would say. So first of all, let's talk about pistols. The pistol I use the most is the diamond back because three critical hits if you have a backstabbed or sapped something really good to run around with around 13 crits or something that deal 102 damage really good this pistol might be good if you have really good aim i don't don't so i don't use it don't use that one either but if you want to play with the gun more than the knife maybe haven't tried really same with the normal revolver, revolver i never use it this thing, if you want more cloak duration and like cloak on hit, it might be good. I used that one a lot in the beginning, but now I more or less always use this one. Knives. So basically, this is probably the easiest knife. You have fire protection and things like that, so you don't die as easily from pyros and stuff like that. This is a more aggressive knife than this one, and this is the most aggressive knife, so depending on how aggressive you play as a spy, you want to select different knives. Like this one, after you backstab someone, you get more health, up to 210, so you can tank a couple of hits if you backstab someone, so it's really good if you're really aggressive, but if you're passive, you will run around with 70 health, then it's crap, so I don't recommend it for new spies, but if you're good, it's really good. And this one is also... It's an interesting knife. It's, it changes how you play a lot. I used it a, a lot after I got it, but now I almost never use it. Because I like to shoot disguise instead of being stuck with some disguises sometimes. But one thing you should know is it's worth losing your disguise sometimes. If you see like a... If you, your disguise is a heavy, and there's a heavy in front of you, then you can stab in the air to remove your speed penalty, to move faster, so you can stab the heavy in front of you. If you use this eternal reward, your eternal reward, I recommend that you use this knife, this knife, this pistol, of course. So that's a good combination. Clock, I recommend the Dead Ringer. It's the best one in most situations. You could use Cloak and Dagger if you use the Icicle, I would say. Because when you play Spy, you want to be able to extinguish your, yourself. So if a Pyro hits you, you're not guaranteed dead. Because if you're on fire, everyone will try to kill you basically so fire equals dead so you want to be able to extinguish yourself that's basically that here sapper if you want to kill stuff if you want to reduce the levels so if you have a sentry that's level of three you can lower its level to level two or level one and after a while to it's destroyed. So this one is better if it's a in a sentry nest that's guarded by engineers, because this thing won't do anything if it doesn't destroy the turret. But this one will. So it's better if you're not able to kill with sentry. But if you kill it. It's always better to kill it, so I use this one the most, but this one has its uses. But that's basic equipment. So let's go into a game. So let's play red. So with your disguises, you can press R to switch team. And in the beginning, when you go out of doors, you should probably have a disguise that's from your own team. Because if you have no disguise, they will know you're a spy, and then they will look for spies. But if you're not, they won't know you're a spy. Well, that's good. Bye. 
Yeah, I know. You will think I'm dead. And I can go here and just be lucky. So I'm having really, really low health right now. That's a spy. But I have a lot of health. And that's why I like this knife here. And you can backstab people up and down. So I could jump and backstab one someone up there. If you're standing with your back towards me. And as you see, my aim is pretty bad. And that's pr probably why I like Spy the most. Because you don't really need to aim when you do stuff like that. Okay. Crap. That gun is mean. It destroys or removes cloak from you, so try to avoid that one. What else can I tell you? What disguises you should use? Probably... Pyro is good. Pyro, Demo Man are good ones. Engineer can be good. A spy, but not always. Spy can mean... M most people think spies are spies. And they don't care about color. They are skill. If, there's, it's, if it's a spy, they attack it. And let's see here. Do we have audio? Can I scroll back down? Okay. Okay, good. So people just attack spies, so it might be a bad disguise. But what I'm going for is being looking like a disguising as something that has the same speed as a spy. Scout, people will see that you move slower than a regular scout. And that's bad. People will notice that and people will kill you. And if you die, that's bad. And if I'm a bit faster with my shooting, I could have survived that. But mostly, you... One thing that's also really good to know, and he's... I wanted to, like, test on him, but I couldn't. Okay, here we have a person. So you can backstab from the sides as well. You don't need to be behind them. You, I could backstab him from here, probably, and a bit further away than you might think, actually. The knife actually flips a bit after you can stab somebody. So if you have a knife like this, you can stab somebody before the knife flips and get a backstab. Do I want to say something else? And no, I should use the pirate disguise. And heavy is probably the worst disguise. And a lot of practice. You need to play as more classes than spy to become a good spy. Because I'm dead. I'm so dead. Maybe not. I forgot something there? I forgot to remove a clock. That's really important. You can't stab somebody when you have a clock up. So you can't run around with it. Okay. And your knife has 40 damage. And you can see how much health somebody has in the enemy team. So if you see somebody that has 40 health, yes, or less, just go for a stab and kill them quickly. And with the gun, I don't know what the crit, non crit steal. But the crits deal 102. I should... After I die next time, I will change to another knife. And that was lag! So I missed two shots there. If I hit, he would guarantee have been, been dead. But I could kill that one. So I have 12 kills and 2 deaths. I think my record on this map is around 22 kills and 2 deaths. 
or something. It's really good. And you want to be behind the front line as a spy most of the time. So instead of the main fighting here, you want to be behind the front line so you can pick off targets one by one that moves to the front line. I'm bad at spy duels, but crit shots helps a lot. Medic is a bad disguise sometimes, because, or a lot of times, but other disguises are usually better, because medics usually heal people, and you can't heal people. Sniper disguise, you can't... People can't... Oh, I'm, I got stuck. People can't... Other, what, 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 what am I going to say? I was going to say that if you're disguised as a sniper, you can't scope in. So if you stand by a lot of snipers, people will see that you don't scope in like the rest. So people will know you're not spy. But it's really important to look the part and play as whatever you're doing, more or less, and try to have the same movement patterns. And sometimes you can backstab from the front like that. But it was a bit from the side, but he probably thought it was from the front. Just a little backstabbing, and they go they're going to attack me. Yeah, they are. But I'm just using Dead Ringer to fool them. Yeah, we have overtime. Killed him. I have one shot left, and most punks. So, I hope these tips can help you. And if you have any questions about Spy, you can leave them down below in the comments, and I will try to answer them. I'm not an expert, but I would say I'm pretty good. So if you like this video, like it. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.